substances abuse my body cast my mind now i'm in the limelight this is malachi with garage band tutorials today we're going to be doing a uh, tutorial and we're going to be discussing on how to mix vocals um this is a singing vocal uh it's raw uncut hasn't it hasn't been filtered or played with or tossed around or any of that type of stuff so we're going to be working with this um, i'm going to speed this up if you want to get more in depth with learning how to use GarageBand with mixing vocals the link is in the description to take the uh, course we also have a facebook group that you can join as well if you have questions um, i'm going to be moving pretty fast um, i am assuming if you've already seen the older videos you kind of got an idea on how to use GarageBand. And if you don't know how to use GarageBand again, definitely highly recommend clicking on that link in the description so you can get the step-by-step -step on how to use it. We're gonna be using the newest version of GarageBand. I think this is uh, 10.3.1. If I said, I don't know, it's early in the morning, I probably said the wrong point or the wrong version, but that, that doesn't matter because we're gonna learn some cool stuff. All right, so let's get started. Don't know why you wanna play yourself. All right, so this is obviously, um, it was recorded very well. Um, there's no background sounds or any of that stuff, no popping, um, pretty decent microphone, pretty good microphone actually. Don't know why. So we're gonna, we're gonna do something like that. What I would highly recommend, once you get your plugins exactly the way you want them and the volumes, you want, to also, you want to always hit save, and you want to save exactly, you want to name this and save it exactly how you want to save it. Um, we're not going to do that here, um, but this is kind of what pops up. You know, you have your different settings that you want to switch it to, and you're good. What I'm going to do is switch it to perfect lead. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm going to switch it to the rap lead because... I want to see how this sounds with the way I have my rap music set up. Before we do that, yeah, I'm gonna make a different. I'm gonna make a duplicate. Okay, so now we're gonna do rap lead. Now listen, listen to how this looks. Listen. Don't know why you wanna play yourself all right then listen now listen how this sound now don't know why you wanna play yourself sounds so much better now um we're gonna go ahead and break this down uh, so you understand what's going on um where am i where am i so we got obviously the noise gate in there don't know why you wanna play yourself. You, you see, you hear that little that. A lot of people do that when they sing or talk. Um, we can. I highly recommend taking that out um, when you hear that. So I would do that now. Let's do that. Command T, split. Kind of hover over, and we'll just split that out. Now we're not gonna mix this whole thing. This is just a quick video of mixing song vocals. Don't know why you wanna play yourself. Okay. And so, yeah, this is gonna be different. Um, so in compressor, let's, let's play with that. So this is what the in compressor is gonna look like. Um, of course, um, my current students already know fully about this, but I'm gonna show you something cool. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna pan this. I'm gonna move this over about right about to five. I'm gonna move this over to five as well. And you can see everything duplicated. So for the end compressor with the second side being panned to the left, it's gonna balance it, but it's gonna add like a stereo effect. Um, that's what you want. I'm gonna add an ad lib setting. Um, you can kind of see what I have going on here. And then you can hear. Don't know why 
You wanna play yourself. I'm gonna take this down. And since we're not mixing this, this is acapella. So we're not miss, mixing it to any instrumental, but you will want to balance this out with volumes to the instrumental and all that. That way it sounds like it's not karaoke and it's all harmonized together. Don't know why you want to play yourself. See, we're getting there. We're getting there. Now listen to how this sounds before and after. Don't know why you want to play yourself. See how the rich, it's more of a richness now with the new one, is what I've done so far. Don't know why you want to play yourself. Now just listening to that, I know that the reverb is not right. I, I automatically know the reverb is not together on this. So we're going to, we're going to dive into that. Um, but let me look at this EQ. So we're messing with new EQ right here. Um, what I'm going to do is I want to check out the pop vocal EQ. And if you can get to like a preset and you get a preset you love, it's so it saves so much time than trying to fine tune it. I'm not going to fine tune here. That takes like at least 10 minutes to fine tune every frequency level. Again, if you want to learn how to do all that, that's the links in the description. But for right now, we're doing really fast editing um, and mixing. So let's see how this sounds. Don't know why you wanna play yourself. Sounds better. All right, EQ looking good. Now we're gonna mess with the stereo delay. I want to do a standard to this. Let's see how this sounds. Don't know why. You want to play yourself. That's a little bit too much echo. Um, in some of my older videos, I used to leave a lot of F echo. It was very saturated. It's, it works sometimes, but sometimes it doesn't. I'm trying to, I'm actually leaning more to less echo. Uh, to do that with this tool, you want to take out the groove. So we're going to. I'm going to take out the groove a lot on this side of the pan. So you'll hear it. If you listen, you'll see. Don't know why you want to play yourself. It's just right. It's yes. So now we know we're going right into the reverb. This is awesome. We're on the, we're on the right track here. Now the reverb, I'm using a perfecto, but we can really have fun with this. We could go to a low, a low soft reverb. Um, I believe that with this, just the left side and the perfecto on the right, I believe that would harmonize this really well. Let me see. Don't know why you wanna play yourself. Yes. If I if I really wanna dive darker into the hole and do some more with that, I could, but. I think that's really good. Let's let's hear what the difference sound like. Don't know why you wanna play yourself. Such a huge difference. Let's see. Don't know why you wanna play yourself. I think something something missing with this. I'm such a perfectionist because I know there's something this. Let's try something. Let me see this. Let's put that low reverb, low soft reverb in there. Don't know why you wanna play yourself. Bring that down. You know that I am good for your health. Don't know why you wanna play yourself. You know that I am good for your health. I love you still. And I always will. Sounds good. Remember one thing, that one thing you want to make sure, um, I'm just going to end this video pretty soon. We've done pretty well here. These are the, this is the, this is the pass. Um, this is the high pass is going to block off any low frequencies, so a lot of deep voices. 
it's going to be cut off on this. Um, and then the parameter, the, um, the parametrics equalizer. I don't know why that's there. If you notice, it's all flat. I don't know why. Maybe was, I maybe I just put it on there for decoration. Um, but other than that, uh, the last thing you really want to make sure you got going on for the most part when you're mixing these song vocals is the master vocal. Um, I got everything turned off. Again, let's for one more time. I want to hear it how this sounds without anything raw. Don't know why. You wanna play yourself You know that I am good for your health Okay, and then if we take and look at What I did and let's see how it sounds Don't know why you wanna play yourself you know that I am good for your health. Yeah, I think the equalizer, can, we can do something with that equalizer. Hey, why am I such a perfectionist? I don't know. Okay, um, we're gonna do some, we're gonna do scanning. I, it's no way you can get around this. I, I, you gotta do some scanning. You're gonna witness it, let's do it. Don't know why. You wanna play yourself You know that I am good for your health I love you still And I always will Remember that time you told me I was your one and only Then I saw you with the girl down the street Now I'm sitting in my room all alone Wishing you'd come back home Guess I'll just smoke another bowl Smoke another bowl? Not fine. I, I didn't, I, this is, I haven't even listened to this I just, I got it from the royalty free site Okay, um, wow, I didn't know she was smoking, <laughs> smoking another bowl, really? Okay, never mind. Don't, don't pay attention to me, I have my own, I get into a mode here. Um, but yeah, as you can see, scanning is very important. You can tell it's such a drastic difference when I'm just scanning and shifting the uh, frequency levels in the EQ. Um, yeah, that sounds like drastically better. Now, I'm not gonna change this second. You see how it's different? I'm not gonna change it because we're that's the lead right here the right the right side here it's gonna be the lead of the vocals so a lot of people listening to this won't really know that you have two tracks um, unless they have a keen ear to it but it's just to create the stereo effect it's not flat like the sample last but lot last but not least um, we're gonna go ahead and go right into the master um, master is very simple I'm gonna go ahead and uh, for the master vocals, I'm going to go ahead and just do an overall mix. Always do master when you're mixing um, a preset. We're going to do we're going to do pop, even though it's R&B. Uh, for some reason, they don't have an R&B option in GarageBand, so usually I would just use pop for the most part. If it's not to where you like it, you can always go back in and uh, change it. What the hell? Let's try that again. There we go. Um, and then we're going to add a, its own compressor. And we're going to add an exciter. Let's get excited. Add the exciter. Um, and then a limiter. All right. You don't need to add two compressors. That's just going to cause problems. All right. Let's take a look. Don't know why you want to play yourself. You know that I am good for your health I love you still And I always will Remember that time you told me I was your one and only Then I saw you with the girl down the street 
Now I'm sitting in my room all alone Wishing you'd come back home Guess I'll just smoke another bowl Boy, when I first met you I was so elated Whoa, 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 whoa Whoa, 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 whoa Okay Keep in mind, people, I have gotten a lot of hate messages because I was putting music on here and people didn't care for it. They said, hey, that girl can't sing. Look, it's not about getting people record deals. It's about learning how to use GarageBand. <laughs> okay? <laughs> so please, please don't kill it. Don't kill this video because of someone singing. Okay? Um, it's not America's Top Model or... Model. What I'm talking about, American Idol or whatever. It's not none of that. It's just learning how to use GarageBand. Okay. With that being said, I need to keep making these videos. I want to keep mixing, showing everyone how to do this stuff. If you have a acapella or if you need help mixing a song and you're getting stuck and you need some help, I will mix your music. And make a video out of it that will give you some promotion um, you'll get a lot of people that see your video or see your song hear you sing so you get a lot of exposure uh, i will not charge anything to do this um, only for one one song i won't do i won't do like your whole album or anything like that um, so if you're interested definitely message me uh or just put put something in the comments uh, and then I think you can con I think you can message me on YouTube. I don't I don't know, but whatever. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, that was a success. Very quick, and like I said, I'm probably going to go ahead and actually I'm actually going to go ahead and save this. This this actually came out pretty well. Let me hear that again. Don't know why you wanna play yourself. Yeah, we're gonna save that. So we'll basically we'll just save it as Army Weed. And then I'll save the second one as um RB Backup. Actually I'll probably just do lead two because the backup vocals is gonna be mixed a lot different. So anytime I mix R&B, this is going to be the starting point. Keep in mind, though, because a lot of people, they may be like, wow, you don't have to do anything after that? No, uh, yes, you do have to do some tweaking and fine tuning even after you get the presets loaded up. But it will save you at least two hours of work. Last but not least, I totally forgot. If you're interested in getting any of these presets, like the rap preset I have set or the R&B, um, Comment below. I can send it to you as a uh, email document file, but you have to be a Udemy a Udemy student. If you're not a Udemy student, then we can work something out. Um, just email me. I'll figure something out. It would cost you, um, but for Udemy students, it's free. So if you're a Udemy student and you want these presets, and you say, "Hey, I need to save my save myself 40 hours of mixing." Message me or message me on Facebook, YouTube, and I will send these uh, presets to you. That way you'll save so much time. You can just play around with them. Um, other than that, thank you for watching. And I will hopefully have some more videos in about a week or so.